Part 1, I used a Blender tutorial from the X3 DOM site to show you how to embed a 3D model in a web page. Now they give two methods. Um, we looked at this method in the first part. Now we're going to look at the two file solution linking to the X3D file. In this method you have a short HTML file with a few lines of X3D code in it. The X3D code uses an inline tag to link to the main X3D file which you exported from Blender. Uh, the tag references and asynchronously downloads the X3D file uh, therefore you must upload the file to a web server for this to work. So how do we do all that? Well the first thing I'm going to do is open their example in a new tab. I'm not particularly interested in the example, I want the page source so I'm going to go to view page source. I'm going to copy the page and I'm going to go into my text editor which is notepad++ create a new file and paste that in we need to save this file as a HTML file so file save as uh, file type HTML and I'm going to call it green monkey inline Now, uh, one obvious thing I need to change, here it is linking to the X3D file. Their example was a horse. Here is the one, I, the X3D file I want to link to, Green Monkey X3D. So we need to change that. And remember to save. If you already have a web server then upload the files to your web server. If you haven't, usually your internet service provider uh, will give you some web space but if they don't or you don't want to use it there are uh, free hosts on the web. This is uh, a company that uh, will host for free and I've used others like 110mb.com. Each has a different interface. Uh, there's usually a file manager and uh, a public HTML directory where you upload your files and usually on the free version have to upload a file at a time. Okay so um, now f the one I want to test is the inline so I have to open that uh, but that only links to the X3D file, the Green Monkey X3D and I'll also, also upload uh, the HTML file I did in the first tutorial which was that one. Okay on this interface you click the tick and the back arrow and there they are uploaded. This is the file that will only work uh, when uploaded onto a web server and when we open that we get the model um, but we get a white background sky color and a lot more environmental light and I'm not sure why but it works I have to click the back button with this web service for some reason uh, just to check out the other file which was the file created by the other method this is the one where I altered the sky color to blue and that works as you would expect uploaded as well that's the end of this tutorial. I'll zip together all the files used and put them on my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. I'll also put links to all the websites used. Thanks for watching and goodbye.